I'm pleased at this time to call upon Brandon Novak, a member of the graduating class, to make his remarks. Thank you, Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellor, and Principal, distinguished guests, and fellow graduates of the 2016 class. On behalf of Alumni UBC, I'm extremely honored to welcome you to the alumni family. You are now a part of a community of change makers and leaders that is over 310,000 strong. Graduates comprised, graduates, sorry, graduates comprised who, like you, sat unsure of what was next. People like Kim Campbell, Jim Pattison, and Justin Trudeau. Leaders who at the time didn't know the profound impact they would have on their communities and their country. Now I don't have a leg to stand on when it comes to conveying worldly advice or life knowledge, but if there's one thing I'd like for you to take from today, other than the fact that my hair doesn't compete with Prime Minister Trudeau's, is that life is made up of peaks and valleys, and today is but one of the many peaks that you all reach in the years to come. It is often said that hindsight is 2020, and when looking back at my time at UBC, I can definitely agree with that cliche. It is most applicable when thinking back to one of my first memories of third year, the Everest simulation. Now the basic concept of the Everest simulation is that large groups are broken down into smaller, unfamiliar teams comprised of five members, each assigned a different role and differing levels of information that if used correctly and cohesively will allow the team as a collective to climb a simulated Mount Everest. Now at the time I was purely focused on doing what was necessary to get the 2% in the course and to get my hands on some of the free pizza which was depleting rapidly outside. And it wasn't until I was on a flight home after finishing my last exam of university and jamming my carry-on in the overhead to save the $25 that I realized the importance of that simulation and how it had laid the groundwork for success both in university and will continue to aid post-graduation. So as I choked down my complimentary cookie and climbed through 8,848 meters, I smiled as it all clicked. During the most challenging years of my life, it was the team of people that I surrounded myself with that made an insurmountable task achievable, whether that was through sharing countless hours and sleepless nights in the EME, struggling together to figure out what an ERP system is, <laughs> or the group study sessions at level on Thursdays. <laughs> we made it through one of the most challenging environments that we'd been introduced to, and we did it by taking the role of leaders and sharing the information and challenges together. So as we finish the last page of this chapter in the proverbial book of life, and we flip the page to the next, I encourage you to use what you've learned during your time here, and when you walk, walk with conviction, when you talk, talk with confidence, and people will follow, because you are all natural leaders. Thank you so much, and congratulations, graduates.